Pokemon the Journey, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, let's take a look at your current energy, see what you're releasing at this time. Well, this one's stuck in my hand and it says, okay, so there might be something right now that you're stuck on. And it's this feeling for some of you of inferiority, unworthiness, feeling incompetent. So why? Why are you not owning your value, your worth, taking your personal power back? feeling motivated and maybe having that sense of self-discipline. I feel that there is something that you're holding on to. Maybe it is a memory or some kind of wound. It's almost as if You've made mistakes and there are, there's some guilt over some past mistake and it's time for you to forgive yourself, Sagittarius. Maybe you've lost yourself. You've given and given and given and you don't know who you are anymore. And it's really hard for you to receive because you don't feel worthy of love, being loved. So why is that? What are you suppressing from your childhood? Or what is it that is bringing up these feelings? Maybe for some of you, it would be a good thing to journal on or to do a self guided meditation, or maybe even talk to a counselor about because how how much are you going to sit in these feelings of low self-esteem where you just feel like you don't have control over your life so there may be little control just remember that but you're alive today breathing and you do have control over how how you live your life. So your physical being comes to mind right now. Are you taking care of your temple, your body? Is there something in that you've been recovering from some kind of illness maybe? And this could be in your body could be even of the mind and soul where you feel like you've lost yourself. There's, there's a fragment and maybe it's from childhood. You're fragmented because you're pieces of who everybody wanted you to be. And I'm picking up someone who had a parent that didn't show them a lot of affection. So it may have actually made you feel a little bit like pushing people away or maybe made you feel that you were not worthy of being loved because you've never been shown love. Well, let's take a look. Let's get a postcard from Spirit and see what the message is. Dearest you, Everything is in divine order. Even in chaos, there is order. And we are always in awe of this. For you though, on your human journey, things can get disorganized in your mind and physical reality. You need to get rid of the clutter, whether it may be too many stories in your mind, too many what ifs or fearful thoughts of the past or future. Instead, focus on the now. Empty your mind, clean your house, and throw out any object that tells you an uncomfortable story. Discern what you have, sort, purge, clear, and organize. We want you to have space to fill with something better. Spirit loves a vacuum as it gives space for brilliant new energy. Let go of what is not serving you and give order to what remains. See them and know their value, your soul, 
needs organization in order to keep your connection to us and to spirit free of distractions. And so maybe you've been trying to distract yourself in a myriad ways, many, many different kinds of ways. And that for some people could be through substances like drugs, like alcohol, like food, or just busyness. You know, I think of just even sitting in front of a TV screen or scrolling through your phone it's busy, 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 or always being out, always going out to eat. It's, there's these fragments that need to connect back. So how are we going to do that? Well, I feel that it's time to play. So how are you gonna do that? You've been working so hard, too hard, and you've been worrying about a lot. So how are you gonna find those joyous experiences? It's sometimes that's just a mindset too. For example, waking up in the morning and realizing that you're still alive. Wow, I'm still alive today, hallelujah. I mean, how awesome is that? You're breathing. Does your body work? Well, hey, you're, you're doing pretty good if you've got your health still, just even in that. Even if you have a, a shelter over your head or some food, then you're very successful. You have so much to be joyful for. And this is the journey. We are on a journey. And it's a journey to becoming our best self. And it's about progression, not perfection. We're not, no, none of us are perfect. We all struggle with wanting that extra glass of wine, some of us, and some of us want to have that donut with our colleagues at work, or want to have things that your neighbor has, for example, or that feeling of needing to to be as productive as possible, to never have a moment where you have any downtime. And I actually do. And I've lived my life actually kind of like that until I got off the hamster wheel. And I realized that we don't have to be on the hamster wheel. We don't. It's in our mind and we get to make that decision. You've got the eight of swords and the two of swords. You get to make that decision. What are you gonna give to? What do you love doing? And here we have the emperor. So yes, it is time to cut out the distractions, page of swords, all those distractions, and to give a little bit more to yourself, to receive. And that means just receiving your connection to the fact that there's something more than us in this world. There's no denying it because for anyone who's ever seen a parent or a grandparent or a person and you've been in the hospital and you've seen their soul leave their body and there's, they're just, their body is so different without their soul. And it's looking into the eyes, the windows of the soul that are the connection, that soul, the connection with the soul and the body. And then there's that mind and we can use it for creativity. We can use it for love and being kind to ourselves, number one, but not having to fill it with a bunch of stuff, fill life with a bunch of stuff. Because really it's about it's about the inner world too, nurturing that inner world. So what is that for you? What makes you feel curious? What makes you feel like you want to change? Because you have to want to change and it's not easy to change. 
if we've had a habit for 50 something years to just all of a sudden get out of that habit, it's it, why, what's the point? And usually it takes until something happens in the body for a lot of people to wake up about what they're doing to their health. That's the message that's coming out. So what, what do you need to decide for yourself? You need harmony. That's what you want. You just want to relax. You want to have some fun. You want to have faith and have hope. And you can make changes. What do you need? Maybe some of you are in grieving the loss of somebody and you feel the loss. The presence in your life is no longer felt and it feels empty. You're being asked to take initiative to work with what you have and it will get you places. Count your blessing and acknowledge your dear ones. You will find inspiration and figure out a way forward. You might also be getting some good news soon. Well, that's good. So one, two, two, one. To me, that's mirror. That's a mirror. Maybe you are in a twin flame relationship, if you believe in that, where there's a partnership here. And you see your partner taking initiative and it, maybe it's inspiring you to take initiative too. Keeping things light, having fun. I think that that's, if you are, trying to heal a relationship where there's been betrayal, where there's been conflict, where things have not been moving, they've been a little bit stuck, they haven't expanded, there's been limitations. Well then, I think that it's about keeping the vibe high. It's about having fun together and rebuilding things. Beaver, balance. You're being told that hard work is important, but so is quality time with your loved ones. The balance between work, play, family, and career must be maintained for overall wholeness and success and health and wellness. Let's see. I'm going to get, because there is, there's love here. I'm going to see. Oh, look at that. Wow. Sagittarius. How is that? Marriage commitment. So that is what you're looking for in partnership. You want harmony. You want to be with this person. You do have a soulmate and you're trying to decide what to do. Is it worth changing over? Because there have been some issues here. There have been, and you're stuck in your head about what to do with it. Maybe you've been even feeling trapped in the situation and you want to free yourself from it, but it's, it's difficult. You're embarrassed to talk about it. And maybe that's what, maybe why that the need to talk to a counselor is there for somebody. The relationship is moving towards sacred union. I want to be a part of I want you to be a part of my future. So maybe somebody wants you and sees you as the one they want to be committed to, the one they want to be married to. But how do you feel? Maybe that's how you feel. You're looking for commitment, loyalty from your partner. Someone feels that they just can't handle your love. Why? Something to do with, I'm not even going to say it, but you're going to have to look at the card. <laughs> I wish I could be a different person. So there's, there's definitely two, someone's in their head right now. I can't promise you anything. Hmm. I was hurt by you. So someone was really hurt. And so maybe they're not 100% on the same page as you right now. 
And so maybe they're not feeling confident about the relationship. They feel that there's been a lot that has happened in the relationship. And we all make mistakes, Sagittarius, we all make mistakes. And so we have to forgive ourselves for what you think you've done or not done in the situation and just learn and grow from that and make the changes instead of just finding ways to stuff down those feelings and to like, it, it, you know, it's because otherwise it's just going to affect your health. Divine timing. Be patient while things are unfolding. This connection is worth the wait. So maybe you're waiting, waiting for this person to make up their mind and they don't know what to do. They're starting to warm up again to you, but they're keeping a close eye on you because they're making sure you're being <laughs> a loyal and faithful partner. Interesting. Okay. One more message from the universe. What do we have? Ah, things. <laughs> it's a little unstable right now. If something deep within you tells you that something's not quite right, trust it. If you are unhappy in your life, change something. It is entirely up to you. Stop making excuses. You are in control of your life. Mm hmm. So what's not quite right here? Maybe someone's not acting like they want to be in a marriage and commitment with you. Maybe you feel that they're just breadcrumbing you. I don't know. I feel like there is something, you two mirror each other. There's a soulmate. I feel as if one person wants to be around the other person. They want to have some good quality time and maybe things just haven't been 100% harmonious between the two of you and how you've thought in the past. And maybe you've made some mistakes with each other. But if you keep it light, it's all about having a positive mindset, keeping it light between the two of you, and then I think it will work. Happy place, ah, what do we have here? Good vibes only, Sagittarius. Happy place, picture your happy place in your mind. What do you see? What do you feel? What do you smell? Imagine it with as much detail as possible Think of these sensations whenever you feel overwhelmed. Counting blue. Keep up the good work. Take a look around you. How many blue things can you see? Close your eyes. How many blue things can you imagine? Hmm, fascinating. Enjoy the feeling. The feeling will pass. So, that feeling of wanting to just give up. Don't give up hope. This feeling, these feelings will pass that you're not worthy of this love that you don't know. You don't know if you should, you don't know. You don't know if you should extend yourself in this situation. But I feel as if it's going to work out if you do, because there's a lot of prosperity here. Your material needs are provided for as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Everything happens in divine order. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. You are safe. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones and home. So there's a lot I think that this is a divine union. I think the two of you really could get this, get this together and get this balanced if you feel worthy of this love and you allow yourself to receive this love 
to let go of the guilt of the past, let go of maybe not being loved in the past or not having been the best partner in the past. Oh, well, well be the best partner now. Be the better self that you can possibly be today because we all have circumstances, things that pile upon our shoulders, stuff to do, life's debts to pay off, real debts to pay off, personal debts, karmic debts, all those kinds of things. Let's get you a quote. Be more concerned with your character than your reputation because your character is what you really are while your reputation is merely what others think you are. Fascinating. So ask yourself, what is the difference between my character and my reputation? How can I display character today? Who, you, who are you at the, at the deep down level here? Are you marriage material? Can you be loyal? Can you bring joy to the people in your life's life. And I just saw two, one, one, two. So which is the opposite, one, two, two, one. It was two, one, one, two. So fascinating. There, this is a soul. I feel this weird symbiotic feeling that two of you maybe have hurt each other. but there's just so much passion and there's so much that is worth saving here, but you gotta save yourself first, right? Meaning that, what are you gonna do? You gotta forgive yourself. Stop holding grudges, get over feeling so jealous or bitter over stuff that happened in the past. Forgive your partner too. Maybe they need forgiveness. Maybe they feel like you are lacking empathy for them. And it's time to really clearly communicate those fears that and anxieties that you have. Maybe that it's challenging to be vulnerable with your partner. Okay, I am going to get something, a, a four agreement card for the relationship. So what is the message for the relationship that Sagittarius needs to know? Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feelings of anger, jealousy, and even your sadness will simply disappear if you don't take things personally. So have a little bit of joy. What are you taking personally? What hurts you right now? And maybe if there are these things that you're holding on to, that you're suppressing, that you're resisting looking at, it's time to receive guidance in whatever which way you can. <laughs> Listening to tarot readings is, is helpful. It has helped me along my healing journey and I'm continually unraveling the onion layers of that healing on a daily basis because we can't, we can't even imagine what we have like under the surface of everything we've been told, the comments, the things we've seen, the interactions between people we witnessed. It's not your fault. Some of that just happens and it's environmental. All right, Sagittarius, until we meet again on this wonderful journey of life, Take care of yourself and remember to be grateful for just being able to breathe today. What a gift. What a gift. Thank you.